We are following breaking news tonight from Brown County. Good evening, everyone. Ashwaubenon High School is shutting down for the rest of the week. The reason? Basically, they're sick of what's going on. More than 40% of Ashwaubenon High School students were out sick today, most of them with flu-like symptoms. Fox 11's Lindsay Veramus, live outside Ashwaubenon High School, has the latest. Lindsay? Tom, at this point, most parents are just learning Ashwaubenon High School will be closed Thursday and Friday. The school says 41% of students were sick today, but 20% of those who came to school really shouldn't have been there with all the coughing and sneezing staff saw today. The high school has had an increase in absences due to flu-like symptoms throughout the week. Now the district will close the high school to prevent more from getting sick. The building will not be open to students, but all staff members will report as usual both Thursday Thursday and Friday. All other district schools will remain open. The district says absence rates at those schools are normal for this time. So there's a lot of factors that go in, but the bottom line is that when you have 41 percent of your students out, it kind of becomes a, a non-issue. It was the right call to make. Uh, we just need our kids to go home, get healthy, come back on Monday and so that we can re-engage that instructional process. I'm pretty disappointed. I was supposed to have a test today. Not enough kids here, so I can't even take my test, which I'm pretty excited. You know, it's just days like these that I think kids just need to be taking their vitamins. Most of the students we talked to aren't viewing this closure as free time. They actually say it is an inconvenience. Plus, many are just feeling pretty lousy right now. So, Lindsay, uh, the administrators in Ashwaubenon, when they came to their decision, uh, did they, you know, they're talking about how the student and staff health is the most important thing. Did they come to this decision on their own? It is a really big decision, Tom, and the district worked both with the Brown County and state health departments to reach it. They say student health is a priority.